everyone's asking why it took me so long to post the last vlog and I'm gonna explain. Let me first show you guys my outfit of the day because I think it's really cute. My style is definitely starting to like change and evolve. Where's my tripod? Babe, can you throw my tripod please? Thank you. Outfit of the day. I've got on these boots, leggings, this sweater, and this headband. Hair is in a ponytail. I think I'm gonna fix my hair like one more time before we go. But this is a overall look of the outfit today. And I feel like my style is really evolving into the Cheshire look, you know? Just very like, I could go ride a horse right now. I could go to the shopping outlets. You never know what the plan is. I could go to brunch. I could, oh, I could go for some tea. I don't drink tea, so that's not happening. But anyways, let me update you guys. This is what's been going on, why it took so long for me to upload that last video. We have been on the road. As you guys might have noticed in the last vlog, we went to Newcastle, then we were, no. We went to Leeds, then we went to Manchester, then we came to Cheshire, then we drove back to Newcastle, then we came back to Cheshire. We've been all around the country and Therefore, I haven't really had time to like sit down and edit and any time that I have my laptop has been dead But we've just been doing a lot. I even hosted at China White Manchester last weekend That was so much fun. Was that last weekend babe or was that this weekend? Last weekend. Like this past weekend, right? Yeah. Oh, it was this past weekend. So I did that. What else have we done? We're now in a new place. This is not our place. It's an Airbnb. I'm gonna show you guys around. It's beautiful, but we'll do that later what else have we done? We found a house. I'm gonna be talking about that as well in the next vlog. I know you guys have so many questions, but I will address all those questions in the next vlog, not this one. I've gone to a few games, had so much fun. Got your hair done. I got my hair done. Yes, I got it blown out. It needs to get redone now, but I did get my hair done. I learned how to do gel nails, you guys. Like, hold on, let me actually. They need a little touch up as they're chipping, but these are my gel nails. First time try, not that bad, you know what I mean? They could obviously use some fixing up, but this is good for my first time. I did regular nail polish on this hand, or regular, I did like gel polish, but it's not the actual gels. And like, if the camera would focus, you could actually see they're horrible. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you see that? They're horrible, horrific. So I need to do that hand still. But yeah, we've tried some new food places. We've gone on a few dates. We actually went on a date like two nights ago and it was really good. And we hang out with our friends. Just again, basically we've just been doing a lot. So now we are finally settled. We're gonna be in this Airbnb for a while so I can finally like film some more videos and start vlogging again. Tonight, well right now, we are about to go shopping for a little bit. I need some new earrings. I want some little hoop earrings. And then um, I need some like nipple coverings for some of my like sheer pieces that I have now, like dresses and stuff. And then also we're going to go to the movies. We're going on a movie date tonight. We're going to go see Smile. It's a horror movie. I'm a little scared, but I love Halloween and I really want to get into like the Halloween vibe. It is October 4th. Yesterday was October 3rd, National Boyfriend Day as well. That was great. But anyways, yeah, so we're going to head out and see a movie for the night and maybe get some food or something we'll see oh i made pasta last night i made cajun fettuccine alfredo with shrimp and babe on a scale of one to ten, ten. <laughs> ten, 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 ten. it was fire it was fire so yeah we're just doing a lot but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you do make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and Without further ado, let's jump into it. Time to head out. It's really hot in this house, so I want to be outside. Just look at this view, though. It's not a view where it's like views, like city views, but like it's cute. Like I feel like I'm in the wilderness. We've got a hot tub over there. We've got this little bench you can sit on, which we haven't done any sitting because it's been raining and it's wet. But it's just so peaceful, you guys. I'm going to give you guys the rest of the like Airbnb tour later so stay tuned okay outfit update really quickly i added this like trench coat cotton trench coat okay let's go 
After a long and unnecessary walk, we have made it to the car. Oh my, no, babe, just show him, come back. You have to come that way to come this way, right? Just show me when you come back. Apparently he's trying to show me that the walk was necessary. I believe it was unnecessary, but we'll find out <laughs> when we get back. Oh, wiggly, wiggly. Anyways, heading to shopping. And I'm getting a little hungry as well. I'm gonna need a little snack. I owe you dessert, don't I? Yep. I'm gonna get some dessert. We are back in the car because someone, I won't say any names, took too long to get ready, then walked us in a circle to get to the car, and then sat in the car once we arrived, and therefore by the time we got to the store that I wanted to go into, it was closed. So there's that. Anyways, now because of that, we've decided to go to the movies a little earlier. We were gonna go at eight o'clock. Now instead we're going at 6.30, which is fine because we can just watch the movie, relax for a little bit, and then go home, have dinner, and relax, and then go to bed. You know, just a chill date night. Um, enjoy the views because the sun is setting right now and it looks beautiful outside. So I'm just gonna record some little B-roll for y'all relax to the music. I might record a little bit of the movie. Obviously not gonna record the movies because it's legal, but I'll record a little bit so y'all can see. Ooh. Um, but yeah, I guess we're, this, this is your update. We're sitting right in the front. I'm gonna tell you more about it when we get in the car because it's way too loud in here. But we're gonna go bowling after this. Oh, he's coming back. Gotta go. is bringing in some of the groceries we got while we were out. I'm gonna update you guys on our date night, as well as my boyfriend. Come, sit right here. You're just gonna put your input. So first, let's talk about our thoughts on the movie. We watched Smile, in case you guys didn't catch that. Scary film. It was scary. It had a lot of jump scares in it. Um, I mean the plot, I said this to him as well, the plot overall isn't that scary, but if you hate jump scares, don't go see it because the jump scares were like, that was scary. I don't think I'm gonna have nightmares from that one though. It wasn't scary. It was like, just, Michael yeah, Myers scary. is way scarier. It's just loud, man. Yeah, it was loud. We were sitting in the front row as well, that was the only seats open. Let's speak about our seats now, okay? So, we got some nachos and popcorn. We walk in, and mind you guys, when we were buying our tickets, the only seats open left were the 
first six seats in the front, but they're separated. So it's three seats here, three seats here, and there's a big gap apart. I thought the gap would have been like a little small gap, but it's like a big gap. Like if me and him were sitting in it, we would not be able to touch each other. Like he's literally maybe like four seats away from me, if that makes sense. So if there were seats in between that gap, it'd be like four or five seats in between us. So anyways, we're buying the tickets and I'm thinking those seats said recliner on them and I was like, oh babe, let's get those ones. And he was like, no, they're too far. And I didn't know that they were actually gonna be far. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna listen to him. He ends up getting us the two on the right side next to each other. They end up saying they recline as well and they did. So anyways, we get our popcorn, we get our nachos. We go in and there's this couple sitting in our seats and I'm like I flashed a light on the numbers and it was our number I was like oh those are our seats so like, oh my gosh we're so sorry we must have sat on the wrong side and we're like it's cool because mind you the seats on this side by the way so the seats are like this these seats were like against the wall and like on the side of the screen whereas these seats were right in like the middle of the screen which is really weird it was off sides if that makes sense like it was it wasn't even it wasn't they weren't evenly like in the middle of the screen so let's say this is the screen our seats were here in the middle and then their seats were like on the side so anyways they go to that side and they sit down and then as the movie's about to start this other couple walks in and they're like those are our seats and the guy like pretends to look at his ticket to check the numbers like we know dude you were just trying to sit they were trying to sit in the seats together because they didn't want to sit apart because they bought the tickets for their part. So they end up sitting apart. But that happened with our tickets. And I just thought it was like funny. Because like that's something I would probably do. Like try to finesse some seats. But yeah the entire the entire theater was booked out. And yeah. Spoiler alert right now. If you don't want to know any spoils. Skip forward. But there's definitely going to be a, um, a sequel to that movie. I'm guessing. Because it didn't have an ending. Um, which I didn't <clears> like. <throat> I like movies to have an ending. And that one did not just it's gonna carry on so that was a little annoying and I'm not gonna go see the second one I don't think unless we just need the movie to watch in the fall time October Halloween time I guess um, we also watched um, Hocus Pocus 2 <laughs> oh thoughts dead so dead I went to sleep no yeah, yeah he fell asleep during it I watched it just so I can know what happens in it and I can just be caught up on the Hocus Pocus but it was whack it was whack. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it, I guess. No, I, don't, I wouldn't recommend, but it, it's a whack. Um, yeah, and then afterwards, as you guys saw, we went to Nando's, had some food, and then we went bowling. I lost both games. Yeah. It wasn't my day. The bowling balls were too heavy yeah, right. and too light. There was no ball that was like perfect for me at this bowling alley, and my wrist is hurting so bad from it now. So there's that. Anything else you want to update them on? Nah, I'm good. Um, yeah, so oh, I guess... Yeah, you, what? You have to pay for the next bowling because you lost. No, I, we didn't shake on it. We didn't shake on it. We never shake on it. You go... Yeah, I thought we were going to shake on it this time, so we didn't shake on it. Nope. So I don't have to pay because we didn't agree to that. <laughs> no, we didn't. Mm-mm. <laughs> So anyways, we're going to ignore that. Um, tomorrow I will show you guys the apartment that we're staying in. Give you a little tour. Actually, it's not necessarily an apartment. It's like a condo. Um, American terms. I think in British terms this is considered an apartment. But this is technically like a townhome slash condo in America. But yeah, I'll give you guys a little tour because it's really cute. Are we getting in the hot tub tonight? Yeah, we can do. <laughs> Yo, I know you too well. I knew he was like, can do. I don't know what that even means, but <laughs> might get in the hot tub. So, in, in the night there. Today was fun. We'll see you guys tomorrow for the little apartment tour. And, um, and my dessert. You no, you said I don't want you dessert because I beat her bowling tonight. Oh. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> okay, wait. I wanted to tell you guys one more thing as well. I don't know how noticeable this is going to be when I edit, but I just wanted to talk about it now. Basically, I burned my lip, but my camera's dying, but it's... <laughs> Babe. No. No. The more I look at it, the more... Bro. Babe. <laughs> Bro. No, 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 no.
Nah, where's that come from? Babe, I don't know, but I just opened the door to pee and that's all I saw. Oh my god. Nah. So was my <gasps> was my scream justified? Yeah, justified. I was thinking, was that the headset or was that the <laughs> Babe. Nah. <laughs> nah. The more I look at it, the more. Bro. Babe. <laughs> Bro. Babe, I don't know, but I just opened the door to pee, and that's all I saw. Oh my god! No. So was my <laughs> was my scream justified? Yeah, justified. I was thinking, was that the headset or was that the? <laughs> we are on a walk. Hold on. We went on a walk to this town center, babe. You're gonna push me Bruh, into the. Great. Oh, now you want to switch sides to you. Mm. He's about to push me in the street. Okay, anyways, we just walked into the city center. <laughs> I think I'm scared of traffic. Stop, come. So, we walked into the city center, and I tricked him because I said we were going for a walk, but I had looked up where the nearest Primark was, and it was really close, so I tricked him into, well, it was a decent walk. So I tricked him into walking to Primark with me so I could get some earrings, a beanie, and a scarf. And then we were gonna get food, but he changed his mind. So now we're walking back, we're just gonna cook. When we get back, and there's a dude in his car who can barely fit in his car, and he's tilting his head to look at me. He's staring at me, what is he staring at? Oh, we did a photo shoot in these outfits earlier today, and spiders landed on us. How many? I had one, you had two. And they're apparently, they're called money spiders, so they're good luck. So apparently we have a lot of, I oh know, not good luck, what are they, money? They bring you money? They, apparently they bring you money, so we're gonna have a lot of money coming towards us very soon. Sounds great to me. But yeah, now we're gonna go home, eat some lunch, and then we're gonna head to the gym. Oh my god, bruh. He pushes me every time there's three drains to keep me from stepping on them. This is how you know you're dating a British boy. When they're into stupid shit like this and believe stupid shit like this. Why, babe? Why can I not step on three drains? Then why would they make them? If they're bad luck, why would they make the drains? I don't know. Great question, huh? My arm's hurting, so... No, it's still here, it's still here. Oh, oh. Babe, this camera doesn't zoom that far. <laughs> you guys, we gave the squirrel. We put crackers on this table right here. And look, the squirrel's taking one over here. And the, oh, the other one just jumped down, babe. We gave the other one one. He was over there eating it. They're eating their crackers. They're enjoying themselves. Bro, get you a man who wants to do this stupid shit with you. <laughs> this is my idea. <gasps> oh, my, my, that's Theodore, isn't it? No, Theodore's eating the cracker. This is Simon. Yeah, he's fat. He took two, innit? That's Simon. You guys, I just pimple popped his face. Look at that. Hey, get that camera off. <laughs>
finally because I am gaining a gut. Someone told me on live yesterday that I've gained happy weight and you can tell. It's not that I've gained happy weight that I care about, it's the you can tell part. It's fucked up, so instantly had to come to the gym and get a workout. Who are you yelling at? Nah, you. Relax yourself. <laughs> Who are you yelling at? You. This is the man you want to be? <laughs> Shut your This is the man you want to be? He's yelling at me because I'm telling him to hurry up. We're, we're running late. No, we're not. They told us to come now. <laughs> we went to the gym. It was a great session. I actually really like that gym. It had like a water fountain that you can like get flavored water. And you guys know I don't really like normal water. But flavored water I love. So I literally filled up my entire water bottle. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Filled it up with the flavor water and even brought it home. But I was drinking it at the gym as well. I did... Five, no, wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I did five workouts. No, you didn't. Yes, I, what? Cut. What? Yo. Going on your phone's not a workout. <laughs> Ignore him. I did five workouts. Um, he's just jealous because all he did was stretch. But anyways, is that cap? No, I went there to stretch. So that's what I'm saying, yeah, all you did was stretch. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I actually worked out. So anyways. So I didn't work. I didn't do five workouts. <laughs> you want to start an argument? I didn't do five workouts. I mean, that's... You know, I'm not gonna bite. Anyways, we are about to go get massages. I came home. I took a shower, changed my outfit into these like sweats, sports bra. You know, just something comfy to get a massage in. I mean, you get massaged naked, but. I mean, I keep my bra on my underwear on, but everything. And actually, I take my bra off as well. But everything else, you take it off. So, you know, whatever. But anyways, yeah, we're going to go get a massage. And we come back, I'm going to give you guys the tour of the Airbnb. And then that's where we'll end the vlog. But yeah, if someone could hurry up, we'd be out of here. I'm going to meet you in the car, hun. He takes five ever. I don't understand. It's a really nice day out today, you guys. Look at the sky. Well, it's not nice, nice like that, but it's like breezy, but it's not freezing. Like, obviously, I'm outside in a sports bra and pants. Even yesterday, was yes yeah, yesterday when I went to his game, it was sunny outside, you guys. It was hot. Like, I had a jacket on, I took my jacket off. It was that hot. So, the weather's been kind of like summery. I don't understand, but I'm loving it. No complaints here. You could have just had some of my water. Hmm? You could have just had some of my water. You don't want any of my water? Mm -mm. Oh. Let me know when you're done being mean to me. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, I drink no more water. No, flavored. Babe, it's the flavor you liked. Oh, yeah. I just don't want it. So you want to break up? <laughs> Delicioso. Babe, stop! <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Oh my gosh, I don't understand. <laughs> no, no, no. <sighs> How many points? None. You'll go to jail and I'll move on. What? <laughs> You're asking how many points if you hit the guy on the bike, right? We should really go on a walk around here because every time we come out, I see people walking. So this must be like a common... Walking thing. All right, we will see you guys at the massage. We're having a couples massage as well. Have you never done a couples massage, huh? Yeah. So this will be our first couples massage together, and hopefully it's good. We're doing an hour. We really need it because why? Back hurt. You guys, our backs are kill. My back. Actually, for mine sure. go right after the gym, you know. No, my back has been hurting for like how long, babe? Like, Today. No. Remember when we went to the whole chiropractor guy? Oh, my back's yeah. been hurting since then. That was like what a month ago. Mm. Like a whole month, my back has been in pain. You guys, I'm talking about when we go to sleep. I literally wake up in the middle of the night trying to like readjust myself how I'm sleeping because my back hurts, and I'm wondering if maybe it's because I'm sleeping next to him. 
that my back is hurting because whenever I sleep alone, I feel fine. No, honestly, but babe, you like to like, he likes to lay on me and I think his head is putting pressure like on my spine. You don't think so? No. I think so. Oh, those are nice apartments, look. So hopefully this back massage can do something for me. We'll let you know. About to get our massage. Ready? Mm -hmm. Show your legs, because can see me. <laughs> Alright, nice to meet you. About to go, I'm so excited for this. I need this. Thanks, babe. Let's ignore my messy hair. But we are back from our massage. We also went to the store to get food for dinner. I'm gonna cook us some Cajun pasta. But like I said, I will show you guys the apartment tour that we are staying in um, before he moves into his new house. So enjoy, let's get started. Okay, so here is the front door. Um, and so when you walk in from the front door, this is the view you get of all doors to the house. But yeah, this is like, I don't, it's not a house. It's not an apartment either. It's kind of like a little town home, I guess you would say, or a condo, I'm not sure. But yeah, they have some cute little British artwork over here of a pug. And then over here, it has this little storage center. It's literally just an empty space in here that we put our slides in and my boyfriend's cleats are in there, so I'm not opening that because it smells <laughs> like hell. So we'll just, you can just imagine what's in there. And then up here, we've got his car keys, some gum, and then my water bottle that I take to the gym, just for easy access when we leave the house, okay? Then right here, we have the bathroom. So this is the bathroom. It's actually a really small bathroom, but it works. It's got a toilet, it's got the shower. Um, the water pressure in the shower is horrible though. Like, it's, it's a joke. And then a little artwork. Then over here we've got this medicine cabinet. And this is where we keep all of our stuff in it. Hair products, face products. Yeah. And then down here we've just got some soaps, lotions, and serene. This holds our face towel. And then behind the door we've got all of the towels we use to shower. And this is like a heated towel rack, which is really nice. We don't have those in America. Ow, that was hot. We don't have that in America, at least not that I've seen, but always in the UK they have them, which is really nice. And then I have my robe behind the door. Okay, so I'm moving in. We'll do the living room last because I'm gonna show you guys the backyard, but this is the bedroom. Really cute. The bed is really nice. I really like the headboard. I think it's very fabulous we both have our own nightstands i'm not gonna go in them because they're pretty junky but he just keeps all his stuff in there like his airpods his massage gun his jewelry stuff like that in there he's got his backpack that he takes with him to work his little rolling mat that he stretches on and then in that bag is a photo album that we have together it has this really nice Floor length mirror, body length mirror, whatever you want to call it. I think it's from Ikea. It's really cute. Um, yes, it makes going to sleep very fun. <laughs> Anyways, um, it has a nice little radiator over here. I like the way this one looks. It's very fancy. Some more artwork. Over here is my bedside table. Over here I have my laptop on top and then my tripod back there. And then I also have like just this is like my hats and scarves and all that in there just very junky you know cables and stuff in here anyways over here is like our wardrobe area so i'm not gonna go through these because they're full but up here we have socks underwear and yeah that's it and then this drawer is my drawer with all my stuff this is his drawer with all his stuff and then we have on top our work stuff so these are clothes i need to film in and then this is his stuff he wears to his work and then I have my makeup bag up here, my Balenciaga bag, and his MCM backpack. And and inside his MCM backpack, I have all my purses in there just to, like, keep them out of sight. And then some makeup products I need to put into my bag. And then over here, you guys, we have this big 
wardrobe this is going to be a mess when i open it oh my gosh it's a disaster okay so up here we have some jackets hung up and then up there we have some hoodies and sweaters but this is the mess you guys down here we have all our shoes and they're just piled on top of each other so that's what we're dealing with for now we don't really have much storage like closet space in this apartment this is it so we're just making do with what we have all right it also has a little tiny tv when i tell you guys this tv is tiny this is my hand the tv is about two of my hands so if you top your hands on top of each other or if you place your hands on top of each other that's how tall this tv is and it's not that tall so anyways that's everything in this room now let's head out into the living room so over here we have one of our suitcases there's still clothes in here um we don't have enough storage space as you've seen so we still keep most of our stuff in our suitcases they have this really pretty artwork over here really nice and then this dining table i love the chairs you guys they're black and they're just very like sleek and matte to me like gorge on top we have a parking ticket that my boyfriend gets about every other day um <laughs> his wallet in here guys this is one of the roses my boyfriend got me these roses the other day and i put them in a cup because we don't have a vase so i had to cut them really short and in the process i broke one of the flowers but it's okay because when he gets me flowers i flatten them and i end up putting them oh this one didn't flatten really nicely okay i usually end up putting them in our photo album but that is a disaster so that's not going anywhere okay we can throw this away anyways over here we have my boyfriend say hi <laughs> so this is the living room it's really nice um it's, they made like really good use of the space as you can see like i don't know so a cute little couch gray and then there's a glass table there center console and then we have the tv i just put on a little fireplace for you guys and actually we have this on when we're playing like games like oh no and stuff just for a little vibe it has a speaker they have like a jbl speaker it plays music really loudly which is great we've got a coffee machine over here my boyfriend's playstation my chopstick some little you know things trash can and then it's an open plan so here's the kitchen you know it's just a little mini kitchen we have the sink there's no dishwasher here but we do have a washer and dryer in here um and then we have the built-in microwave and then there's literally no storage here either because everything had like cups and plates in it when we got here. So we've just like made do with what we can. So we put some of our food up here. We've got some chips up here that my boyfriend put. This is what I'm cooking tonight. We've got a kettle. We've got a toaster. This is our sugar. And then <laughs> this is where the plates go, you guys, and the bowls. And we've stuffed food in them as well, which is ridiculous. But like I said, we have to do what we have to do. These all came stocked, which is really nicely. So we have fork spoons knives all that and then we've got utensils and we've even got pots and pans which is really nice and then this is our fridge which is also stocked you know we need to always make sure we have food on deck um and then we have a few things in the freezer as well and then behind here we have a drying rack and an ironing board so yeah that is the living room space for you guys now as you see they have these ceiling to floor curtains which is a really nice addition but let me show you where the real magic is okay let's open this babe i need help opening this <laughs> I do it? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so this is our backyard. You guys, oh, it's raining. I'm not going out here. I'm so sorry. But this is our little picnic table. We don't really sit on it because of reasons like this. It's pouring right now. It's not pouring. It's drizzling. But, yeah, there's a little picnic table back here, which is just for us. And then over here, there's a hot tub, you guys. That is the hot tub. And I just think this is really nice. We've been in it, what, twice? No, no, once. Once. I've been in twice. You've been in twice? Yeah. You have? Mm -hmm. When? I went in there, but then. Without me? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 
Anyways, I've been in once, but yeah, this is our little private backyard, which I really love. So yeah, that was our apartment tour, temporary apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I am going to cook dinner, and a lot of you guys have been asking me to do more cooking vlogs. So I will show you guys the recipe for what I'm making tonight, and then we'll end it there instead. Because um, I did say I was going to end it after the apartment tour. But hope you guys enjoy, and since it's going to be a voiceover for the rest of the video, I love you guys so much. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel down below and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next one. I love you guys so much. I'm Chandler Alexis, and I'm signing out. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. It's Chandler Alexis, and I'm back with a voiceover. So tonight, my boyfriend requested that I make Cajun fettuccine alfredo with shrimp so i first start off by putting some kettle water on this is to just make hot water faster instead of having to boil it all on the stove and then that's me unpackaging some of the items i used on a pan we're going to add in some olive oil and butter and then in the pot i put in the kettle water and then i also added in some olive oil and some salt for the noodles Now back to our pan, I added in chopped garlic. This is like canned one that you can buy from the store. I prefer it, but if you wanna use fresh garlic, you can. As well as I used bagged diced onions from Tesco, but if you wanna use fresh onions, you can. I just hate chopping onions. It makes me cry every single time and my eyes burn. After you add those in, you're just gonna saute them, mix it in with the butter and the olive oil. And then back to our pot, you guys, I'm adding in tortellini and linguine noodles, like the rest of what we had because that's what we're using. I cannot find fettuccine noodles anywhere, but if you guys know where I can buy some, please let me know. And then tip, add a wooden spoon on top of your pot to keep it from boiling over. My boyfriend taught me that. And then in our pan, I'm adding in these Jumbo King shrimp. I wish I added more because I made a lot of sauce. Um, also, oh, I forgot to season them. Yeah, you heard that. I forgot to season my shrimp before adding it in. You want to season your shrimp prior, so please don't make the same mistake I did. I will list all the seasonings that I used in the description down below. But that's what you're going to season your shrimp with, and then you're going to add it into the pan and mix it all around. So this is just me adding all the seasonings in. I did paprika, curry, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, just a lot of seasonings. Again, all listed down below. In another pot, I'm boiling some corn because we like to have corn on the side. We love corn. Once your shrimp looks like this, you're gonna transfer it to a bowl, but do not wash that pan because we're gonna use it to make our sauce in it. You kind of want like the leftover seasoning in it. So you're gonna add some double cream. I used two of these small ones. Double cream, by the way, is just heavy whipping cream for anyone who lives in the States. You're gonna season that as well. I use salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Mix it around. Then you're gonna wanna add in your cheese and some pasta water. I don't know what the pasta water does, but I've always done it, so we just add a little pasta water. And then you want to use shredded Parmesan. However, I cannot find shredded Parmesan anywhere in the UK either, so we use like that, what is that called? Um, the little tiny Parmesan? I don't know, you guys know what I'm talking about, you've just seen it, but yeah. Next, I add in spinach. Now, add a lot of spinach. As you guys can see, like I'm basically just filling the pan with with spinach it's going to like shrink up so it's not gonna stay that big so just add in a bunch you can't even taste it in the food but it's healthy it's giving you your vegetables for the night you know so just add in a lot of spinach especially if your kids don't like vegetables this is a great way to like incorporate it into the food without them even realizing it I added some more cheese you want to just get your sauce to like the perfect texture so you know you don't want it to be too like thin where it's like milky and watery and you don't want it to be too thick either where it doesn't pour so you know just eyeball that out once you've gotten it to the consistency you like add in the shrimp like add it back in and you're gonna mix that around and then I'm gonna tell you guys what my secret ingredient is okay just wait for it So this is my secret ingredient, Philadelphia cream cheese, you guys. 
you want to add in a little bit more than that but that's all i had left and i don't think it really matters when you add it in just as long as you add it in and you let it melt in there but i don't know it just adds the perfect taste to it and this is what it looks like when your sauce is done it should be that same color as well you're gonna add it onto your noodles and that's it you guys you made cajun fettuccine alfredo with shrimp i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe if you guys want me to do any more recipes in the future, please let me know by commenting down below. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do try this out, please let me know how it went. Leave a comment, let me know how it tasted. And uh, yeah, that's it you guys. I just enjoyed my dinner with my boyfriend. Thank you so much for watching. Again, recipe down below. See you next time, bye.